Hey, good morning, good morning. Today, how are you guys doing today? Hey, this is Gregory Wiles coming live to you from Houston, Texas. It's not, oh, I'm not on my walk, my usual walk today. I'm in a business meeting, so I just step out and I'm going to drop this little word quick. Nothing is going to stop me from, um, you know, coming on and doing what I have to do, man. So, um, yes, the first time listeners, I usually get some exercise in the mornings and I share my to- um, thoughts with you guys. Whatever I'm inspired to talk about that day, I'll just share with you guys, man. And beyond on Mondays. Wednesdays and Fridays around this time here. This is um, 8.45. This is Central Time, over time in Texas. And then you can calculate what time zone are you in. But, yes, it's a great day here. Nice weather. Nice weather. This business district I'm in is a little nicey, so I'm going to sit in my work, man, and get this through. But, yes, what I want to talk about today, man, I really wanted to continue on the little series about the whole Easter and all of that. We did two parts of it. I have one more part to complete on it, but it, um, that's not what I've been led to talk about today. So I will just talk a little bit about preparation today. About preparation, um, today this scripture stood out, and this is what um, I was led to talk about today. So I guess somebody need to hear this. Somebody need to hear this today. We can just look at, quickly look at Proverbs 6. Proverbs 6, we're going to read from about 6 through 8. Take these two um these two verses are 6 through 8, right? And then look at that. We talk a little bit about preparation, right? Oh, Proverbs 6, you should read it. It's really interesting. Good morning, Tessa. Good morning, Tessa. How are you doing today? So this Proverbs 6 is really talking like a father giving his son some advice. Tell him to just be just be proactive, be have a sense of urgency in doing the things, you know, you're going to do, and it gives some examples there. But the part that I just want to take is from 6 through 8. I just want to look at this. Um... And he's a great proverb, actually, like most of the proverbs. So what I want, uh, let me read the NIV version first, then we can talk about it a little bit. The NIV version, um, Proverbs 6, 6 through 8. It says, go to the ant, you sluggard, consider its ways and be wise. It has no commander, no overseer or rule. Yet it stores its provision in the summer and gather its food at harvest. So and um, that's the NIV. Let me read the NLT, which put it in more everyday language, right? NLT translation is the same proverb six, six through eight. It said, "Take lessons from the ant, you lazy bones. Learn from its ways and become wise. Though they have no prince or governor or ruler to make them work, they labor hard all summer, gathering food for the winter." Oh, one second. Let me turn off the mic because I know. Sometimes when this stuff is on, it, the sound don't come over that well. Let me turn it off here. It's good. It's off. Sound should be a little clearer. Yes. Yeah, so this this um this proverb is saying here in the NLT. Let me read it again. Take a lesson from the ants, you lazy bones. Learn from their ways and become wise. Though they have no prince or governor or ruler to make them work. They labor hard all summer, gathering food for the winter. Tracy Hamer, good morning, good morning. How are you doing? So this proverb is saying, man, look, we can learn so much from this proverb. But two things I want to look out for in this proverb. Two things I want to bring out from this one here, right? Are you one of the persons who just need a boss over you, need someone over you to make you do your work, to make you do the things that you know what to do, right? Are you one of those people? That's what they're saying here, man. The ants has no governor, no ruler, no body over them, but yet still all summer they store up the food for the winter, right? So if you know what to do, man, just go ahead and do it. Don't have someone like your boss is not there today. If you go to the office, the boss is not there. That means you're not doing any work. Okay, the boss is not here. I'm going to... No, man, you know what you have to do. Don't let the boss... If he's there or he or she is there or not, you know what you need to do. Do it, man. How that's that's your own um, self-respect, there, man. That's what building your credibility. When people know they can trust you, 
to do what you need to do, whether they're there or not, you're going to still do the same quality work, man, because the person who is actually going to promote you is the one who's seeing you every day, what you're doing, regardless if man's seeing you, right? God is the one who's going to promote you. It's not a human. He's going to promote you. And if you're acting with integrity, whether the boss is there or not, trust me, you're going to stand out. God is the one who's going to promote you. He's seeing everything you're doing. So once we keep the mindset there, knowing he is seeing us, right? So our eye is always on us. So we have to just do what we know what how to do it whether somebody's watching or not. And you know this day and age, there's always cameras around and all of that, right? There's always cameras around. Someone can go back and check some footage to see. So don't put yourself in that spot. That's what this proverb is saying, man. You do the right thing all the time, whether some people are looking or not. As I always tell my son, this, um, you know, he playing his basketball, and I tell him, every time you step on a floor, why aren't you going to a gym? you are being judged. Regardless if you think people are not watching you or not, you are being judged. So you always go in there business like always give your best effort because you never know who is watching and that might be the day um when your breakthrough gonna come. So you always give your best effort any way once you um out in public, right? Act like people are always looking at you. And you know and seeing what you're doing, right? And the next part of this what I wanna bring out is let's look at this part right they say they have no ruler or but they labor all summer gathering food for the winter so the next set of people i want to um just um just give a reminder to today are you in your season right now are you in that season of plenty where things are going great for you your business is doing great the work is going you're getting a lot of overtime man you know you're getting a lot of uh, you know you're in the season of plenty right now or you're a young person got all your strength working right now are you putting away some for the hard time are you putting away um some how are you preparing for retirement how are you preparing for those times when business may slow down or you're not getting the overtime as you should get it right you see the ants no summertime is when his time of plenty that's his time of abundance and he work all summer storing away his food that can take him through the winter time because winter time is cold he can't be out there that's not the, that's not his um season of of, of 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 when he has a lot he got to stay indoors and protect himself from the cold so he would store up during the summertime when the harvest is plenty so he has food to carry him through the winter are we doing that are you doing that in your season of plenty right now, in your youthful stage, making a proper plan for the time when it's come retirement, where you don't have all this energy and can't do the things you can do when right now, or are you putting away some of the extra cash that you're making? And just a little tip as a business um, owner, I see people, when it's the time of overtime, things are going good. Never count overtime as part of your regular income. Overtime, I see people make this mistake before they go through a period of months or even a year or more with overtime and they forget this is overtime and they start counting the paycheck based on what they're bringing home with that overtime because it's gone on for so long and they forget, hey, this is extra money I'm making. This is not my usual salary. And to start basing the expenses and the standard of living based on that overtime, the extra money that they're making. And when things, the business go back to normal and they back to the regular salary, it feels like they get a pay cut. It feels like they get a pay cut. So I'm telling you, this is a little tip. You get an overtime, separate it out, just operate, keep your expenses, keep your standard of living. To your actual salary and not including the overtime that's extra you put that away do the little extra things with that but don't depend on that don't set your bills don't set your um the everyday living on that extra money right guys so i just want to give you guys a tip there i want to re um go this over proverbs 6 6 through 8 take a lesson from the ants you lazy bones learn from their ways and become wise Though they have no prince or governor or ruler to make them work, they labor hard all summer gathering food for the winter, guys. So I just want to leave this. I think it's just a great reminder for someone. But I'll get back to the series 
whenever I'm led to do it. But um, I'd like to tell you guys, I just got to do what I'm inspired to do um, on that day. But this, I think somebody needs to hear this. Somebody needs this reminder, right? If you're in season of plenty right now, you're in youthful years, make plans for the time to come when you're going to slow down. Or you're making that extra cash right now. Put away some because things, you know, this life is seasons, right? There's a season when you're going to have a lot. There's a season when you're going to have a little. There's a season to burn. There's a season to die. You know, all those seasons. That's one thing you can depend on in life. If you're going through a hard time right now, know it's a season. If you're going through, you're getting a whole lot right now. Your season of plenty. Know there's a season when things are going to slow down. So prepare for those seasons when it's slow. In your season of harvest, just like the ant. In the summer, he put away food for the winter when things can slow down for him, right, guys? And don't be that person who always need a manager over your back, a boss over your back to do your work. You do your work every day without the manager in the office or not. That can speak volumes for you, and that can cost you promotion and get more, guys. So I'll leave that right there, man. But you have a great, great day, and we'll talk again on Friday. Okay, then, bye.